We're learning more about that FBI search of former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Law enforcement gave a copy of the search warrant with the reasons for that raid to Trump's lawyers, but so far the former president has declined to reveal them. Chief Washington correspondent Jonathan Carl has the latest. In the face of growing Republican outrage over the raid of Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home, the White House is declining to make any comment whatsoever, other than to say President Biden had no role in authorizing it and, in fact, didn't even know about it until the news broke. The president was not briefed, did not, was not aware of it, no. No one at the White House was given uh, a heads up, no, that did not happen. Republicans are accusing the Biden administration of weaponizing the FBI and the Justice Department. And Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is threatening to investigate Attorney General Merrick Garland. We now find that justice in America is not equal. While stoking outrage, Republicans are also attempting to raise money off it, with fundraising appeals already going out from the Republican National Committee and from Trump himself. The Justice Department and the FBI have refused to comment. Standard policy in an ongoing investigation Law enforcement sources will only say that the raid was related to documents that Trump allegedly took improperly from the White House when he left office, some of which are classified. Trump himself could reveal the reasons for the raid. His lawyers were given a copy of the warrant, which would detail the reasons for the search, but he has declined to release it. And another reminder that Trump faces multiple investigations. The former president is expected to be deposed today in New York by the New York State Attorney General as part of a civil investigation into the Trump family's real estate business. This is a deposition that Trump fought hard to avoid, but a legal battle that he lost. Diane? All right, Jonathan Carl, thanks for that. And investigative reporter Catherine Falders joins me live now for more on this. Catherine, Attorney General Merrick Garland is now under some intense pressure to justify this search, and not just from Republicans. So is the Justice Department giving any indication of when they will reveal what they found? Well, look, we don't expect the Justice Department or the FBI uh, at this point to come out and say anything about this. This is standard uh, operating procedure for them not to talk about uh, ongoing investigations. But I think it's important to remember uh, also that as Republicans are calling for DOJ, the FBI, uh, to release this search warrant, for example, uh, Donald Trump also has the search warrant. His attorneys have the search warrant. Uh, they are providing detail, what they say is detail about uh, this raid, uh, they can also very well release this warrant themselves. Now, Republican Congressman Scott Perry says the FBI also seized his cell phone. That's part of a different investigation related to the January 6th attack on the Capitol. But how significant is that? Is it a coincidence that both of these warrants were executed within 24 hours? I don't necessarily think it's a coincidence as it relates to uh, the raid, but as you know and as we've reported, he was uh, involved in these conversations surrounding January 6th. Scott Perry was communicating with former Chief of Staff uh, Mark Meadows. He is close uh, to former President Trump. His text messages have come up as it relates uh, to this investigation. So it is uh, significant uh, to have a member of Congress, a sitting member of Congress's uh, phone seized still trying to learn uh, more uh, about this exactly, but Scott Perry says uh, that it was uh, seized by FBI agents when he was going on vacation. So, Catherine, if the Justice Department doesn't talk about active investigations, which we know is standard for them, and if the former president chooses not to release this search warrant, how long could it be before we find out what this raid was about? Yeah, look, it's a good question, uh, and I don't think we necessarily know the answer to that. What we do know is that, through our sourcing and reporting, is that it was related to these archives documents. What we need to know more about is this level of cooperation. Trump has said, and his attorneys have said, that they cooperated with the National Archives, with federal investigators. They handed over boxes of information. But the reality was that there was information left there. There was classified information allegedly left there, and that's what we need to know more about what were they looking for, what did they find, what did they seize. And former President Trump has arrived for his deposition in the New York Attorney General's probe into the Trump Organization's business, again, a different investigation. Um, what can we expect there? 
Look, so this will obviously uh, be happening uh, behind closed doors. This is something that Trump fought uh, in court. His uh, adult children actually appeared uh, last week. So, look, I, I we'll wait to hear uh, to see what Trump potentially has to say uh, about this afterwards, uh, if, he, if he speaks. But uh, no details uh, will come out of that uh, immediately following uh, the deposition today. All right, Catherine Falders, we appreciate it as always. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.